Goal number three. This car is a joy to drive. A light from the wheel of your Mazda for just a moment and take control of the jack. Oh, we're in a jack. Win any, win on any of the Daytona variants without going off track or just complete both events. Skip 45 gold. Well, who would ever want to skip that? We've got to drive around the thing twice or three times. Well, you've got choice of a cup at the road course or the motorcycle course. I'm going to go back in the road course. Can I compare the um, top speeds that go across that line? A jag. Win one of these. Can't go off track though. Or you can just drive it round twice. Looks a bit more modern to me at the back there. I don't know if it's a few years newer than the um, others or not, but it looks a bit more modern. I prefer the um, sound of this. What a nice sound to it. Right, here we go. Didn't, um, put him out of the way at last. Oh, look at this um, chicane. I'll see if I can come off of it reasonably well because that Mazda was 19 upgrades went ooh steady oh I'm not going to come off of here any good now because they're in the way the Mazda went across there at 351, 352 I think but that's got 19 upgrades oh. well that was nothing short of a mess was it I'm not going to tell on this one anyway. Come um, with the race teams and what have you. There's bound to be a top speed. Any of these sports cars, whatever they call them. Classic LMPs or I don't know what they call them. But there's bound to be a top speed and the Jag is definitely going to be the one to go for. It is much faster than the others, top end. Let's have a look at the hood view. Yep, that is officially hideous. So all three of these cars have got a really horrible hood view in them. What's that note of one up there? Uh, that must be going off track, mustn't it? Get that crappy old Japanese thing out of it. British thoroughbred coming through here. With your old twangy engine. Got an engine that I oiled up old pair of tights woozing round. What we got? Oh, miles quicker. 355. I find it easier to drive in this um, view still. Oh, so we haven't given it the cockpit, have we? Where's the cockpit? Oh now come on be fair. That is sexy. That is lovely isn't it? Lovely shape. The wings on the front look really nice. Dashboard's laid out lovely. Momo steering wheel. Voltage meter, got a bit of a shake on it. 
What's that one next to it? Oil pressure. The oil pressure's alright. I don't know how one is on the left. Pop your water pressure up. Oh, steady. On the right, ignition, injectors maybe, pumps, start. I wouldn't mind one of these cars if anyone's got one knocking about and I don't want. Ah, oh, this is the boy, innit? This is the one. You can stick your old Mazda, your old Mazda thing. Stick it holds you up and poke it right up where it's on, don't shine. And that old German Porsche thing, get shot at that and all. Give me a jag. Any day of the week. Truly delightful. Years ago, back in my youth, when we first got cars and stuff, everyone used to get them K&N air filters on their car. Take the air box off and put one in on. It used to give a different note. And that's what that Jag reminds me of. It's got that little bit of a different note to it. Very nice indeed. Yeah, you know, do you service it or do you not? Ooh, I'm going to risk it for a biscuit and I'm going to service it. Get off. Can I service it or not? I'm not pressing the wrong button here. I'm going to service that just in case you use that. Oh, nuts, you might have to use it again in a minute. Oh, what well, I find out it might be a good time. Enjoyable, that, like that. Luscious.